What is a sustainable wardrobe? Why is everyone talking about sustainability in fashion? And what can we do in order to have and maintain a sustainable wardrobe? Hello style lovers and welcome to Elegant London. This is Petra coming to you right here from the heart of London. Today, we will go through eight steps on how to build a sustainable wardrobe for ourselves without spending too much money. Sustainability in fashion is a big, big discussion for quite a while now. And we all can do a little something to make sure that we don't pollute the planet with our fashion choices. So let's have a look at a few simple hacks that will lead us to having and maintaining a sustainable wardrobe. Number one, take care of what you already have in your wardrobe. It's really important to take proper care of your garments. You must always follow the cleaning instruction and keep them in a good condition. Fold what you have to fold, hang what you have to hang. If a button seems to be a bit loose, fix it. The same thing applies with shoes and accessories. If you value your wardrobe and your appearance altogether, the first thing you need to do is take care of what you already own. Our wardrobe contains items that we use, obviously, but they also have or may have an emotional value for us. So the more we take care of them, the longer we will have them for. A very useful tool for this is a steamer. The steamer is a small, easy to carry, and will help you maintain your clothes looking sharp and elegant even when you travel. So use this little baby steamer and give your garments the chance to look fresh and fantastic for a long, long time. Step number two, reuse items that you haven't worn in a while. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but it sure has happened to me. To dig out some old piece in my wardrobe that I haven't worn for a really long time. Give this piece a second life by washing and taking care of it and then just wear it. <laughs> or if you think it won't work anymore, then gift it to someone else or sell it. There is no reason for a nice item to be hidden in the back if it can be cherished by someone else. That takes me to step number three. Sell or gift your older pieces and give others the opportunity to love them too. And of course, shop secondhand. Shopping secondhand has always been an amazing opportunity for a lot of people to find good items in great prices. Secondhand shops, local charity shops, and now online secondhand shopping are making a statement in the world of fashion. Of course, you have to be extra careful when you shop secondhand and especially online. But if you choose the right websites for that, you can make a difference in your wardrobe and for the environment. Step number four. Shopping slowly. I'm sure you have heard about this before, but fast fashion is a consumer's trap. Clothing is produced on a daily basis with extremely bad quality materials at ridiculous prices. And if you fall in the trap, you will end up with a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear. Not very sustainable, is it? <laughs> Further to that nowadays, we all know that the majority of the people who work in the fast fashion industry don't receive fair wages, not even living wages, and they work under very dangerous conditions. We also know that the vast amount of garments and accessories that are produced, transported and sold through the chain of fast fashion end up in people's closet even without being used once. Sadly, this kind of phenomenon does not only occur in fast fashion. The recent revelation about a high luxury brand 
concerning the withholding of payments towards hardworking people who provide them with wool has traveled all over the world. If this kind of thing occurs in luxury fashion, which is scrutinized and well watched, can you imagine what happens behind closed doors in the fast fashion industry? So if you're asking, what can I do about this? The answer is, just don't support it. Instead of buying five new items from fast fashion companies that will look dreadful in a few months, it's better to invest in one or two pieces from a sustainable and ethical brand that will last for years. The quality is going to be and look much better. <laughs>of that, I'm jumping to step number five. Shop quality and not quantity. Now the big question is, what is quality? When you shop for quality items, this means that they will last. Remember the old days when your parents used to have some items in their wardrobe for decades? That's quality. In combination with the fact that they really took care of their garments and fixed them if there was a problem, that's what you need to keep in mind. If you want to buy something just because it's really pretty, stop for a moment and think, if I wash this garment 10 times, will it still look good? Because you are going to wash it. If it's not going to look good after 10, 20 washes, just put it away, leave it, don't buy it. Save your money and the planet. Here I have to make a quick note about the fact that this philosophy of quality is the one that runs my business, Eloke where everything that I have ever created and everything that I will make in the future is under this strict umbrella. It's got to be top quality fabrics and components like zippers, for example. And this is why it takes time to find them and make them. This is how I do it. Step number six, keep your style intact. What do I mean? Every one of us has their own personal style. Even if you're not a fashionista, you do have your own way of dressing and expressing yourself through fashion. And it's very, very sustainable to maintain this whenever you shop something new. Because if you only buy items that fit into your wardrobe and can easily be combined with what you already have, you don't really buy items that you won't use, so you don't burden the environment. On the contrary, if you go and buy clothes that are not in sync with you and your style, then you're just throwing your money away and you are making things worse for the planet. Honestly, go for timeless and classic and avoid seasonal trends and you'll be fine. <laughs> A magic question you can ask yourself in order to know is, how many times am I going to wear this? You know the answer to that. Step number seven, pay attention to the materials. Plant-based materials, recycled materials, and fabrics made under strict laws will work for your favor. Extremely cheap, very flashy, too good to be true, yeah, you probably are. So take a step back before jumping onto a new purchase without knowing the material is good. Last but not least, Change your mentality on fashion. Now, this is something that requires a lot of time and it can be a complete game changer in your life. You can be a consumer, but you can also be a conscious consumer. You can be a creator. You can be someone who knows what they like and who knows how to value their everyday habits and belongings. Shopping for the sake of shopping <laughs> hasn't made anyone really happy. Overconsumption is a phenomenon of our times, but does it bring happiness? Isn't it better for you to save your money and energy and spend both on experiences or even products that provide value? 
And now it's the magic moment where I invite you to join the conversation. Use the comment section below and tell me one thing you do to create and maintain a sustainable wardrobe. Let's share our knowledge and inspire each other with beautiful and sustainable ideas. With that thought, I'm going to leave you. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click like or share, whatever you prefer, and hit that bell button so you will know when a new video post is up. I will see you again soon with a new video. Kisses from London. Bye.